with its eye, we look at the stars far in the sky. We can be sure that we are looking a million years back in time. As the light from the stars take at least a million years to travel this distance and reaches. Never knew the time travel was so easy. Never thought the time was so unpredictable. As the universe continues on its way to expansion, we are a minuscule part of this pyramid. But are we just a part or are we equally responsible in vivid this reality? Representing consciousness, what role can we play to help consciousness in this journey which made all this matter come into existence? The name Milky Way is derived from its appearance as a dim milky glowing band arching across the night sky in which the naked eye cannot distinguish between the individual stars. The Milky Way is a bar spiral galaxy. It is estimated to be about 13.2 billion years old. The diameter of the Milky Way is about 100,000 light years wide. The Milky Way contains more than 3 billion stars, which include our own star, the Sun, and its planetary system. The solar system is located within the outer arms of the Milky Way galaxy, also called the Orient Cygnus arm or the local arm. It was formed 4.6 billion years ago. The solar system is a sharply designed planetary system in which the eight planets orbit around the star, the Sun. The third planet from the star is planet Earth, where we reside. Planet Earth was formed approximately 4.54 billion years ago. Life appeared on Earth about 3.8 billion years ago. At an average speed of about 29.8 kilometers per second, Earth orbits the Sun at an average distance of about 150 million kilometers every 365 solar days. Also referred as the Blue Planet, Earth supports the life of more than 8 million species, which include the most intelligent human beings. Lately, there have been a debate among the humans that the world is coming to an end, an apocalypse by the end of year 2012. They are from an ancient civilization called the Maya, as their calendar does not continue more than the year 2012. One of the most intelligent civilizations which came on the planet were the Mayans. The Mayans were a Mesoamerican civilization which appeared approximately 3,500 years ago in the jungles of Mexico. The Mayans were master astronomers as they constructed their calendar as accurate as the world uses today. The Maya described five different ages that existed in the distant past, each lasting 5,125 years. They were also told us that each of these ages ended in a cataclysmic leasing of the negative karma that was created by mankind. According to Maya, the fifth and the final age began approximately 5,125 years ago. As the calendar was constructed more than 2,000 years ago, ironically ends with the fifth age at the zero point on the winter solstice. peaceful people who were another Native American tribe which resided in the southwestern United States from 1100 to 1300 AD. The Hopis were also aware of this transition as the sages prophesied a great purification will take place before this time of change. The Hopis said that the last decade of the 20th century and after the turn of the millennium it would be necessary for man to tie himself to a tree, in other words, the big wind. The Hopi said that the weather would become unpredictable and would cleanse away many things with the wind and rain. They said we must each be self-sustained and go back to growing our food from Mother Earth. Above all, they said man need to go within himself in order to gain spiritual understanding of what would be happening. happening, we need to take a look right in the center of the Milky Way galaxy. The center of the Milky Way galaxy is called the Galactic Center. The Galactic
galactic center is the rotational center of the Milky Way galaxy. Located in about 6 degrees Sagittarius and 27 degrees in the tropical zodiac where the Milky Way appears brightest. And on the other hand, there is a strong evidence that supports the existence of a supermassive black hole at the galactic center of the Milky Way galaxy. But the more important thing is that the galactic center emits a nuclear bulge which runs down the Milky Way and divides the galaxy into two hemispheres which is called a galactic equator. This nuclear bulge is recognizable without the aid of the radio telescope. It is the most wide and the brightest part of the Milky Way. The Sun and a solar system make one complete revolution around the Milky Way in about 235 million years, which is our galactic year. In this moment, there is a cross formed by the Milky Way and the ecliptic. This cross is created by the rotation of a galaxy through evenly spaced zones of energy that are not visible through the naked eye. It takes approximately 26 million years to pass through one of these zones and it appears that we are now moving to one that is more highly charged. On winter solstice, December 21st, 2012, our sun will reach the southern terminus of the dark rift where it touches the ecliptic in Sagittarius. As we can see here on December solstice, our sun is coming into alignment with the galactic center on the nuclear bulge. This cross was also recognized by Maya and was called the crossroads or the sacred tree. The question is what this astronomical event has to do with us. Is there anything we need to understand on the level of consciousness? coincides with alpha rhythms produced by the human brain during meditation. It is the conclusion of the axial precession cycle of our planet. 